is, it, is there a way like is there no. is there a way to extend the few blokes past the eight or is it like locked at eight? No, I think it's locked at eight. I think even I think yeah, it's definitely locked at eight. We've had a couple of applications that have. Well, can, I, can I throw in my one because Ollie threw me a podcast application, so I, maybe you could, honest, maybe you could swirl me into it and make me number nine. To be honest, the applications are the honestly what make our day. Seeing yeah. them and getting you ask them stupid questions or something, and the answers people come back with are honestly the best. Yeah, well, those eight blokes are going, oh, "Holy's too old, kick him out." <laughs> uh, your um your banter and humor would fit in quite well though so it might it'd be a strong application yeah what about so jude barguana himself we'll go back to the eight blokes he's he you went up did, was it you who went up with you to the gold coast oh, yeah. oh no that, that trip, that trip. Josh Can you tell me, yeah you and josh oh. you and josh seem to be the two ones doing the craziest road trips oh yeah so well we'd I drove him to the bend in my truck. We t- took him in the car. So him and I went to the bend. Um, I drove down with him and then picked Ollie up and Ollie mm. and I drove back. So that was a pretty cool trip. Um, that was good. So, yeah, the Gold Coast trip. Now, yeah, that was that was an interesting one. So yeah. <laughs> um, we, Josh and I decided, yeah, we'd never been to the Gold Coast. Like, sorry, to the, to the 500, to the 500, is it? The yeah, race? the Gold Coast. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah we'd never yeah. been to the Supercars Gold Coast. We thought, we're going to do this. We thought, we're looking. We, were, we didn't decide to last minute. We're looking on, oh, we'll get some flights. And we're like... No, we won't get flights. That's, they're really expensive. <laughs> so we were like, we'll budget, we'll drive. That, that's not too bad. So we um, we were like, we'll do this. We, we're staying at a friend's place. We'll um, This will this will work out. This will be a cheap way of doing it. Yeah. So we're like, Jude and Ben are racing up there. So we'll, you know, we'll go up there. We'll be you know, a few bloke supporters. Yeah. We'll check it all out. We'll enjoy the Gold Coast. Who doesn't love going to the Gold Coast? So yeah. I picked Josh up from our work at 5 o'clock or something on Thursday and we drive – uh, overnight and we get to Kempsey at like one o'clock in the morning Yeah, and we stay there and we, then we get up the next morning we roll into the Gold Coast at Friday or Thursday. I can't remember what day mm. it was. And then we have a great weekend. Awesome. Uh, I, I was good. I, I got to go around. I see a lot of people. I catch up and I, I network and do the stuff. So, so it was really good for me. I got to see um, Crow Cup obviously were there, the supercars, yes, mm. thousand sort of things. So it was great. You know, we did, went out and, did Cali Beach, the Supercars after party and stuff, yeah. and thought, "What is that place? I swear to God, it's on my Instagram all the time. It's where all the inf- social influencers go. It's, it is. It's literally like it's. Oh, like sh- a, surely it's you like boys a, would have loved it. Like, it oh, there's, all, there's all the social influencer oh, girls there. It's, it was incredible, <laughs> and you just you just rolling around, and you know, there's the supercar drivers just walking in between you, yeah. like, and no no one seems to know them. It's really weird. I'm thinking, I know who that is. You know, that's, that's because there's an inst- in Instagram. Well, that's correct. I know someone with, with 100k followers next to it. Yes, I know. I know. 100k. You're talking about probably a million. Yeah, because yeah, they're on Byron Bay's. That's yeah. probably where they've all well, come correct. from. These, these pleb supercar drivers with 100k followers, they're nothing compared to my three million or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> but I think, yeah, it's exactly right. So we, so we did that, and we were like, um, so we. Is so the Cali Beach at the top of? Uh, like a hotel how does it work is it like it's at the top like of a hotel or? three story or something yeah it's like okay. on top of a building complex or something so it's really really nice it's got its own little you know you can buy a little area and you can go there otherwise you just spend time all together and it's it's got like a pool in the middle of it so yeah literally and a bunch of beds around the pool and stuff so you can hire your beds and stuff it's a it's a cool place very cool place it's very it's very the place to yeah, go really. yeah so um we do that and um, Great night, and then we get back at stupid o'clock in the morning. The day the sun's almost coming up, and uh, <laughs> the next day we were driving home, obviously Monday. Yeah, and we were like, Josh had to get back because he had an exam or something on Tuesday. Yeah, uh, yeah, because he's in your twelve, is he? Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, at the okay. time. So we're like, <laughs> uh, we'll get back. So I was driving at the time, and I said, Josh, I'm not driving till at least twelve hours after my last drink, sort of thing. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I'm not getting done for drink driving. So yeah. we wait and we leave at two o'clock or something. I think we leave yeah. on Monday. I'm thinking. That's good. We'll, we're due in to Canberra at like 2 a.m. or something in the morning. Yeah. I thought, we can do that. That's fine. So we set off. We, um, I, I have a ute, yeah. so we didn't take my ute. So we were like, I, I took mum's mum's car. So she had a Jag E-Pace. So we thought, that'd be fine. Fit all our luggage in. I took, naive me, I took my helmet and my race bag and everything with me, <laughs> thinking, you know, maybe I'll get a yeah, start. Be a so, reserve driver for someone. Yeah. So Josh and I had the world's biggest bags you've ever seen. Um, <laughs> I had my helmet, race gear. We had stuff everywhere. We had... <laughs> case of beer on the back seat and we're, we're like all right we're heading home <laughs> so we, we get home and we're driving along not feeling overly great about ourselves really <laughs> thinking this is not overly fun and we're driving along and we get to um somewhere i think tari or something like that and we're like we're running on fuel so i fuel up and i'm like sweet we're good for the finish now we should you know we'll be good to get home you know, we're due home at 1 30 or 2 a.m this is going good yeah so we set off and 
uh, just just kind of going along, put the cruise on. And we're just Josh is on his laptop trying to do schoolwork, and I'm there just playing the tunes, just punching yeah. around. It's dark. It's like eight o'clock at night or something. Sounds like dudes, where's my car? Like an Australian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and this is where it all starts to go wrong. So yeah. we're driving along, and then and then all of a sudden we're going up this hill, mm. and all of a sudden the cruise kind of starts to drop a couple of k. And I'm thinking that's weird. This this cruise controls mm. perfect. Like it doesn't alter. And all of a sudden there's this big bang, and I'm like. Shit. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, I know what that is. We've done a tire because the tires on it were not. They were, yeah. They were pretty much bald. I thought, all right, done a tire. So I'm like, it's dark. So I'm, it's pissing rain. Dark. Yeah. So I'm like, wheel her over to the side of the road, get her over the side. I'm thinking, oh, this is just great, isn't it? I'm thinking, <laughs> now we're going to be late. And all of a sudden we look up and there's, and there's smoke coming from the bonnet. And we no get way. out of the car and the car's on fire. <laughs> Holy so, shit. No. Yeah. So Josh and I are like, Oh shit! The mm. car's on fire. We, you know, panic. So we're like, "Oh no! What do we do?" So Josh has got a, um, he dislocated his shoulders. He just had a re- shoulder reconstruction. So he's got one arm. So he was no use. So there <laughs> I am in the pissing rain. I've got our bags and we're throwing them out on the highway. <laughs> a case of beer. Josh's laptops out on the ground. Like <laughs> it was an absolute disaster trying to get it away from the car. Yeah. And then in the meantime, the walk and shore V8 supercar truck pulls up. Yeah. They're double. They all fly out, get the fire extinguishers and put it out. Oh, and wow. And then they were like, sorry, guys, we got to go. Like, we got yeah, yeah. to meet. So here's the fire extinguisher. You guys will be all right. I'll see you later. And they've jetted off. And Josh and I, there with this car that was just been put out, I'm thinking, now what do we do? It's pissing rain. Like, and I ring up Dad and I'm like, Dad, the car's caught fire. And he's like, oh, is it still on fire? I said, no, they put it out. And he said, go get petrol, put it back on fire, you know, it's, <laughs> it's insured. <laughs> so dad wasn't overly impressed that we put the, you know, we yeah. stopped the fire, but <laughs> couldn't believe it. So, Oh, no, let's get a new one, son. Just throw so, it. Correct, it was insured. So dad's like, put Fuck. it back on fire. So he's like, why'd you put it out? And yeah. I said, well, at the time, I was like, I'm going to put it out. <laughs> Has your mum got a new car now because we'll release it? Oh, well, it's, yeah, well, that's, oh, wait till you hear this. Yeah, it gets worse. So yeah. we were like, so all it was, and... So we were like, and we were like, oh, great. So the car's not on, not going to catch fire anymore. So we put all our stuff back in the car and we just sat there in the rain. And mm. four or five hours later, a tilt tray comes, gets us and takes him to Newcastle and yep. blah, blah, blah. And Josh misses the exam or whatever. Mm. <laughs> so we get back or whatever. That's fine. The car's at, um, in Newcastle, Hunter Jaguar, and they ring up and they're like, oh, your car's here. And it's like, yeah, yeah, we dropped it off. And they said, oh, it's been, it's caught fire. And I said, yeah, that's why it's there, you know, like <laughs> it's there for a reason. So. Uh, months later, then it gets shipped down to MacArthur yeah. here. And they were like, because this happened a few months ago, a month later, Mac- MacArthur, and they said, oh, they just they pulled all the data from the car that's gone through it to work out what's wrong. Obviously, to work out what I've done wrong yeah. driving it. So <laughs> they don't seem to have come back with anything yet. So <laughs> hopefully that stays. But um, so they, they and oh, dad's ringing up thinking, well, it's brand new. It's got 33,000K on it. Like it's insured for five years. So. What's, you know, sorry, warranted for five years. So what's going on here? Like, where's the loaner car? Mm. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. So they went back to Jaguar head office, got approval for a loaner car. And we finally picked up the loaner car today. Yeah. So we drove up to here, Sydney, and got it. So it yeah, was right. interesting. So, so today was a part of that trip. Yes. Yeah. Holy months ago. Shit. It took this long. So there, apparently it's had a front diff failure and it's got that hot. It's caught all the plastic and trims caught fire. So. They've ordered a transmission, a diff, and a new wiring loom and stuff, and the car should be all right, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah. But, <laughs> but anyway, so my dad actually called him up this week and said, oh, said, oh, how's the rental car, like the hire car going? Like the replacement car, is it coming out? They're going to ship it out to Young. Mm. And they're like, oh, we've been informed that the customer has the car and the customer's driving around in the car. <laughs> and dad said, well, that's interesting because I'm actually, I don't have the guy, I'm actually walking. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, Oh, we'll call you back. <laughs> so for two or so weeks now, they thought we've had the car and been driving around in it. So I don't know what they thought's happened, but we finally picked up the oh, the car today. So we've we've got a car now. Thank thank wow. God. So I don't know what happened to this other car that someone was supposedly driving around in. Yeah. So but we'll, in the end, we went a yep. trip that we thought, yep, we'll drive up because it'd be cheaper. Ended up not being a lot cheaper at all. It would have been way cheaper to fly. <laughs>